Hi guys, um, Andy here from Bath Bomb World. Um, I thought I'd do a um, video for you. Um, today we're going to be making some in beds for future use. Um, basically what I've actually got in the bowl here, I've actually got one cup of bicarbonate of soda and one cup of citric acid. The, uh, the basic in bed recipe is one to one, unlike a bath bomb which is two to one. Um, also in there I've got some cream of tartar um, and, and we're going to basically mix this up. Uh, the, by the way, the recipe is going to be on the Bath Bomb World website on www.bathbombworld.com.au um, So give that, I've actually sifted it into the bowl so we're going to give that a really good mix to make sure it's fully incorporated. Like with anything, we do recommend that when you're working with powders, that you do actually wear a mask, um, as the the powder can become airborne and make you cough. So now that's fully incorporated. Now for our wet ingredients, uh, what I actually like to use is I actually use sweet almond oil. So I've got one teaspoon of sweet almond oil and one teaspoon of um, alcohol. Um, I don't like to use water because I seem to always get it wrong and make it react um, so and the alcohol won't do that. So mix this in. Um, please excuse me I don't have any gloves at the moment and we always recommend that you wear gloves because I'm being a bit sloppy today. I actually forgot the gloves at the warehouse. So mix that in thoroughly. It's quite good to make sure that everything at the bottom of the bowl It's nice and moist. Now, in beds dry very, very quickly. So, what we're going to do, we're going to work quite quickly. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do three colours. So, I want to separate this mix at this moment in time. So, I will just put um, a nice handful in there. Let's try this three ways. Somewhere in that bowl. Just roughly separate it out. Okay, so for the first colour, we're going to be fitting beds. Obviously, we like to use lakes or dyes because they give the, the strongest colour. We're going to add, because I quite like it strong, we're going to add a nice teaspoon of a DNC blue one and we're going to give that a good mix in we get rid of all the lumps now this is where I am going to be sorry not to be wearing um, gloves um, if you feel that the liquid, the mix is getting a bit dry, just give it a a spritz, just to moisten it back up again. You're not wanting it too wet, but that I think's right. So we're going to use some moulds today. We'll see if that's all in camera. So we've got, we've got all these beautiful little silicone moulds, stars, hearts. So we'll start off with some, some blue stars. Now this is where it's going to get a bit messy, so please forgive me. So take your mixture, fill it in, tightly pack it into those, into the mould. Pressing down, 
making sure it goes in tightly. We'll now move on to, um, well, I think what we'll do now is we'll do some nice little pink hearts. So again, some nice bright lakes. making sure that there's no clumps or lumps same deal make sure everything's broken up again if the mix has gone a little bit dry a jug is not the best thing to do this in to be honest with you there we go if it's Got a little bit too dry. Again, spritz with a little bit more alcohol. So you get that nice consistency. Now again, it's a consistency of almost damp sand, but not as, as, as the damp sand as you would when making bath bombs. So can you see? It's about right. So now we'll do some little Pink stars, we've got two here. Again, same deal. We're just going to sprinkle that all over the mold. And we're going to make sure that everything is pressed down and all the, the holes are filled. This is a bit fiddly, this bit, but they're just so pretty when they come out. So I'll speed the video up and I'll come back when I'm finished. And here we go as if by magic <laughs> so i've done a lot of rubbing a lot of pressing in making sure the tops of the mold are nice and flat and perfectly shaped where the molds are now the reason for this is because that is the side that you're actually going to be showing in your bath bomb um, doesn't really matter if underneath there that crumbles a little bit because that is going to be what you're going to see later um, so that's the some nice bright pink to go with the blue and finally um, we're going to use some stars I think so again mixture make sure it's all broken up and obviously because it has taken me a while to stuff that it has gone a little bit dry so moisten it up this time I'm going to use some yellow Sorry, I really do like to overuse those colours. <laughs> Got these little clumps. Not very pretty. in my not wearing gloves a candy candy striped hands
a little bit more alcohol. I think we're ready there. So, as before, filling the moulds, pushing down to make sure it's all nice and full and making sure that the it's completely flat at the top. I find this a little bit more exciting than making the, the ones with the teaspoons because that's really quite painstaking. But of course we all know embeds are worth the effort. And again, as if by magic, I'm gonna speed you up and then um, come back to you when we've got it all full. Now, um, just to show you a bit of a technique. Um, like I was mentioning before, the, it's important that the top bit here you get the nice shape because this is what you're going to see. Um, and the technique I like to use is once they're all full, is just to get the, just to rub your fingers like this. And what it's actually doing is almost acting like sandpaper. You see that on there? It just, if you just rub, 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 you get the nice shape of the star. So when you put that into your bath bomb, You're going to get that nice star shape. As I said before, it doesn't matter if it cracks a bit down there because that's going to be inside the bath bomb. But there we go. Some nice stars. I've had a bit of a tidy up, a clean down on the bench. So I'll show you what we've done. We've got a couple of mini pink hearts with some beautiful blue stars and some nice gold stars. Now, let those dry and we'll come back and I'll show you on molding. As I said earlier, they don't take any time at all to dry. So keep them somewhere um, that's not too damp and yeah, they'll be hardened up um, as quick as you like. So we'll come back shortly to have a look at that. Okay, we're back. So, these have been setting for about two, three hours. Um, I just thought I'd show you how they mould. Now, please don't get upset if, if you few crack because you can still use them as hidden embeds. Um, but, because they do sometimes do crack. So there's a um, beautiful little star look. Now don't worry about the inside bit because once that's flushed down on your bath bomb, that'll look amazing. Hard as a rock. God, I do love those. They're really nice. Now all these moulds, what we're actually going to be doing at Bath Bomb World, we've got so many different moulds arriving. We're going to be doing a couple of kits where you actually get a bunch of moulds. More than this, lot, we've got lots of different ones with the mixed colours. So you, can, you don't have to shop in a million places. We're going to put it all in one box for you. So you can um, order just and just pay once for postage. So there's all the nice blue stars. Some, some yellow ones. Look how pretty these are. What I should have done actually, I want to just give you, show you something. I'll just get um, a little jug of water and I'll show you the, um, the effects that they will actually give. As you can see, they're very robust. They, they, they sort of, the odd one might crumble, but they sit hard as a rock, and this is only three hours. 
And if they come out a little bit weird like that, don't worry. You just hide that inside the bomb. And um, nobody will ever see it, but it'll, ju it'll just still give off the amazing colour. Now to a few little hearts. Pop them out. How gorgeous is that? Hey, can you imagine those? Nice little daisy chain in a, in a flat bomb. So as you can see, definitely worth Definitely worth the hard work. Oh, sorry, it's been black. Definitely worth the hard work. Let me just get a some water, and I'll show you the effect. There we go. Start off with a. Little heart. Beautiful fizz. And <laughs> this is the yellow. To create a beautiful orange. Let's try and get this in a little bit closer. Fizz. And finally, try to find one that's not as great so we can waste it. Um, a blue. So there we go. Making some beautiful embeds. Um, so what we'll do tomorrow, we'll actually create some bath bombs using these embeds and we'll do another video so you can see what we're doing. So easy, enjoy.